multiply mixed numbers. Let's try an example. 2 and 3 fifths times 1 and 1 fourth. First, we change the first mixed number into an improper fraction. We do this by using the C method. We multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add that to the numerator. The denominator stays the same. So the numerator is 2 times 5, plus 3, and the denominator is 5. So the improper fraction is 13 over 5. What do we do next? We take the second mixed number and we use the C method to get an improper fraction. We multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add it to the numerator. So the numerator is 1 times 4 plus 1. The denominator stays the same, so the improper fraction is 5 over 4. Now we multiply the two improper fractions. First we multiply the numerators to get 65. Next we multiply the denominators to get 20. Now we have to convert the improper fraction into a mixed number. To do that, we divide 65 by 20. We get 3 and 5 over 20. We can simplify the fraction part by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 5. We get 3 and 1 fourth. Let's try another example. 1 and 3 tenths times 2 and 2 over 9. Let's use the C method to convert the first mixed number into an improper fraction. We multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add it to the numerator. So the numerator is 1 times 10 plus 3. The denominator stays the same. So the improper fraction is 13 over 10. Now let's do the same for the second mixed number. We multiply the denominator by the whole number, and then we add it to the numerator. So the numerator is 2 times 9 plus 2. The denominator stays the same. The improper fraction is 20 over 9. We multiply the two improper fractions to get 260 over 90. We can simplify this improper fraction by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 10. We get 26 over 9. Now we have to turn it into a mixed number. We do that by dividing 26 by 9. So the final answer is 2 and 8 over 9. Let's do another example. 1 and 3 fourths times 1 and 2 sevenths. Let's convert the first mixed number into an improper fraction. The numerator is 1 times 4 plus 3, which is 7. The denominator stays the same, 4. Now let's convert the second mixed number into an improper fraction. The numerator is 1 times 7 plus 2, which is 9. The denominator stays the same, 7. Now we multiply the improper fractions. We get 63 over 28. We turn this into a mixed number by dividing 63 by 28. We get 2 and 7 over 28. We can simplify the fraction part by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 7. So the final answer is 2 and 1 fourth. Now let's do another example. 1 and 3 over 7 times 2 and 4 over 5. We start by changing the first mixed number into an improper fraction. The numerator is 1 times 7 plus 3, which is 10. The denominator stays the same, 7. Now let's change the second mixed number into an improper fraction. The numerator is 2 times 5 plus 4, which is 14. The denominator stays the same, 5. Now we multiply the two improper fractions. We get 140 over 35. We divide and we get 4 as our final answer. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.